right, guys, coming on you today from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My flight's delayed, so I got a little bit extra time than I thought I would here in town. So I'm gonna do something very Milwaukee and go on a tour of the PBR Brewery. So the tour starts out pretty good. You get a free beer. This tour starts in five minutes, and you take your beer on the tour. They got a nice selection of like Wisconsin craft beers, and you get to watch old PBR commercials. They're, uh, they're pretty fantastic. You do learn about the history of this room and the founding of the company. Brewery stopped production back in August of 96. And it hasn't really been used since, so it's more of a history thing. All right, there's one of the old vaults where they keep all the money. Welcome, everybody, to the Great Hall. Not the pretty good hall, the Great Hall. This was the 1885 Hall. A lot of the stuff you see in here is original. All the tall windows, the stained glass, the uh, skylights are original, the lighted glass is original. The light pictures are not original because there wasn't electricity here in 1880. I'm now in Captain office. Piano <laughs> in here. Oh wow, this was his desk. You can take it home with you when it. Pretty cool. The chair is really awesome. Uh, we're now downstairs in the speakeasy room, which is amazing. It's so cool down here. <laughs> And now in a courtyard area with this, this statue of the king, which is uh, pretty fantastic. And the courtyard is at, this is accessible, you don't have to go on the tour to do it. They do have a bar over here and a gift shop. You can come in at any time. Let's go into the, the bar area now. So this building here was the original hospitality house for like brewery tours. Set up like a German beer hall. Uh, back in the day, the tours used to be fantastic. You would go on the tour for an hour, and then in this room you got to drink for free for an hour, and you could repeat it. Now you get one free beer. But uh, the facility is really, really cool. Oh, thank you. Another courtyard over here. Obviously, this is no longer used for brewing. It's now used for like private events and tours and stuff like that. You do have the fantastic statue of Mr. Past. And like all fine attractions, it ends in the gift shop. And guys, the gift shop is something else, man. It kind of feels like a mix between like a beer flea market and a gift shop for Pabst products. And I guess every one of the brands that's owned now by uh, the same company, which is all like these retro brands like Ham and Schlitz and stuff like that. And stuff like this, like these are not these beer steins are all like Anheuser Busch and German stuff, but you can buy any of them. They're all varying prices. Pretty much you can buy everything. All the signs and things like that. You can get stuff you can just take for free, like some of these uh, paper signages. All right, let's go explore. All right, they got everything. Like a whole section over here dedicated to hats. And then tons of signage you could buy, like retro kind of signage. Lots of beanie caps because it does get cold here. Um, beer, spiky beer hats, uh, baby clothes, yeah, kid clothes. They have tap shorty. These are pretty popular. The, uh, one of the work shirts. I love these kind of. They're very much these retro character ones. The dude on the snowmobile. He's a superhero. Bodybuilder, baseball player. I will say the one thing I'm definitely gonna buy. I love, love, love this shirt here. And it's eight, 19 bucks. That is definitely coming home with me. And more antique glassware. Tons and tons of antique like uh, beer trays. And you do not have to get the tour to come in the gift shop. They're very traditional t-shirts. Because uh, the gift shop is just, the gift shop and the bar, you can just come in. I also really like this one. That is a really cool shirt. And then you know, you have a bar at home, bar mats. So neat. You could buy yourself a paper bag koozie. The first side is all and any beer shape. That's that goes. They're not. They are indeed like koozie material. That's that goes. You could buy any of these old timey beer cans. Oh yeah, man. Quite the gift shop. I do like a 
Oh, my can's protected. Schmidt. Probably the one with the dog on it. It's my favorite. Although that, that's pretty good as well. Look at the PBR long john. And then lots and lots of hoodies. Also a big fan of all the magnets. I love the bear from Hams. All the different retro magnets you could buy. A lot of them are available in stickers as well. Bottle popper, tons of keychains. Some cool stuff too, like pep suspenders, headbands, sandals. The PBR shoelaces. I'm actually gonna buy a pair of these. I have like no room in my luggage, but uh, Clay, the guy that lost the fantasy football league and has to do that terrible punishment, he would love that. And then I'll do it for the gift shop. Pretty cool. They do have ladies' tees, PBR, ugly Christmas sweaters. Definitely worth the stuff. And that'll do it for the tour here at Paps. Costs 14 bucks to go on the tour. You get a free beer. Pretty cool. If you want to learn all about like the beer making process, this is not the tour for you. But if you want to see some really cool old buildings and uh, some really neat stuff while you're in town here, I would definitely recommend it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.